Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, and welcome back to another World of Tanks replay. And today we have the man, Indignant Beaver, and he is driving the Panzer Souffle 4C. My phone's going fuck! Alright, alright, alright! <laughs> Phone call done. What fucking timing that was, eh? Anyway, Beaver. He's in the fucking um, toaster. You can see. Tier 5. Alas, he is in a tier 6 game. Well, there are four. Uh, uh, there are more than four. Fuck me. <laughs> there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. Seven tier sixes, so there are eight tier fives, and he is on this map, which is the Manaheim line. Fuck yes, I know my maps. Uh, and he's going to the typical um, camping TD spot over here in D eight, uh, knocking the tree. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. Oh dear, I do apologise. And he is actually trying to three mark the toaster. Uh, well, he's he's already done it, but in this game he was in the process of trying to three mark the uh, toaster. And he puts his first shot into the M4 improved, two hundred and sixty-seven damage, which is pretty nice. You get a nice uh, eighty-eight millimeter on this thing. With 240 average damage and 194 pen. Which on a tier 5 is fucking godly. You can easy pen tier 8s with this thing. But you don't even see fucking tier 8s. <laughs> and uh, the gold has 237 pen and 240 average damage. And the HE is not bad. 44 pen. Not not too bad for, uh, for tier 5. And 295 damage on that. I'm waffling because Beaver's doing fuck all. He's sitting here being a boring old cunt. Uh, he's missed the Churchill going by because the Leopard and the SDLV spotted it far too late for him. And yeah, he's just fucking waiting. He's sitting around in his toaster. Also known as the Flat Bus, you know. People have many names for this thing. Uh, it is pretty much made out of paper. I can't remember exactly... How thick the armor is, but I think I think it's like three or five millimeters, some shit like that. You see one of these things, and you fire HE at it, and you're gonna fucking pen. If you don't pen this, fucking God is against you, because I don't know how you can't pen this thing with HE. Anyway, Beaver is looking like he wants to move. He's getting a bit fidgety that he's doing nothing. I think. And uh, he's found Ugly Betty, the S35CA. BAM! 281, what a roll. <laughs> he's now left the S35 on 39 HP. Which is pretty fucking nice. And this team isn't exactly doing too well. Um, they're 6-3 down. They're losing the north. There's an AMX 12T about to come into the base. They're losing the south. Most of the uh, ally heavies are dead. And they just don't really have any... Um, controlling positions of the map. Cromwell is trying to counter the AMX-12T. And in fact he does. But he's run away and the Leopard's run away. And, well, there's a T-3485M along with a... Tier 5 Leopard, the little light tank, uh, and they're pushing the north. The KV-85 is all by himself in the south trying to hold off a heavy tank number 6, a Churchill 1, and a Type T-34. Uh, now the OI was spotted going down towards the dip over here, near the 4-5 line. But, you know, he could have changed his mind and come down the heavy line, or he could be coming up this way. Which Beaver would need to be aware of. And the SCRV-74 was the last spot I didn't see one. So he's going to be coming with the T-34-85M. 
Now the KV-85 is playing the smart, he's backing up, which is of course the right thing to do so he can get support from the people in the base. Beaver's going to wait for that SU-100 to go through that bush. So he's essentially double bushed because there was the other bush there. He's not double bushed here, but still shoots at the SU-100 anyway. Apparently he doesn't get spotted, but he is now going to try and double bush himself. He's going to move forward so he can see through the bush, activate his binoculars so he can spot the Leopard, the STRV, not the STRV, the T-3485M even, and that SU-100. And he takes out the Leopard, very nice shot there. And here comes the STRV. I'm surprised Beaver isn't actually going back far enough. He, he was for the SDRV there, but when he was shooting the Leopard and the SU-100, he wasn't back so that you can't see through the bush. Alas, he wasn't getting spotted, so it's not that much of a problem. Uh, his team is now definitely flopping. The KV-85 has just been killed, and it is just himself and two Arties left, one of which is a Lefe. Now, the good thing with being up in this position, he has good gun elevation, because he's reversing up a hill so he needs decent elevation to be able to look at these fuckers over here. And while well, the Death Star... Not the Death Star? What the fuck? The fucking Death Toaster. Flak bus. Fucking Toaster of Doom. Whatever the fuck you want to call this thing. He's taken out the Type T-34 now as well. They're all <laughs> close to one shots for him. Because the high alpha for this thing. Um, well, high alpha for a Tier 5 tank destroyer that is. Uh, yeah, with this thing, it can it can literally point straight up in the air. I'm pretty sure you've all seen pictures of it or people doing it. And now Beaver. Oh, unlucky to bounce on the OI there. He's trying to shoot it in the titties. And not quite managing to pen. Now going for the turret with an APCR shell. That's fair use of it, I'd say. Um... Now he's looking at the S35CA because that thing does actually have a very dangerous gun. That's probably got a... Mm, I prefer this gun because it's more accurate. But the S35's gun is probably more dangerous. He missed a shot on the S35, missed a shot at the Churchill. That one dips into the Type T... Uh, into the um, T3485M. It's a pretty nice shot. And now the Churchill's been taken out. The S35CA thinks he has cojones and is pointing in completely the wrong place and gets taken out. And I'm surprised Artie isn't trying to blind fire this position. Um, now Beaver goes into the bush, extends his binoculars. Oh yeah, he picked up a top gun in that as well, by the way. In that whole fucking fuck fest of killing everyone. He got his top gun. He's up to 2.5k damage. And... Well, he's just farming, really, isn't he? He's just farming the shitters that are just pushing into his base. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the Lefe just doing all of the spotting. As well as Beaver doing some spotting as well, but... Goddamn. This is some nice defence in this uh, cheeky little spot in A0 on Mana Heimline. And now he's just waiting for the SU-100 to see if he's going to push this way. The C-3485M was last spotted coming round this way, but he might be faking and uh, doubling back on himself. He might even be coming low to come round through this way, which wouldn't surprise me. But then again, this is World of Tanks. You can't expect people to be smart all of the time. Um, and as we can see, like the enemy team is not smart. The Leopard, the SDLV... Uh, the Churchill, the S35CA, the OI, uh, the Type T34. They all died to Beaver because they tried to push the base. Whilst they were spotted and they just got fucked. And it's not like the ones on this side even really pushed. They all just kind of sat by the tank traps and were like, yeah. Oh, the T3485 is coming this way. He's taking his sweet time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love watching replays for the first fucking time and recording it. Oh my god, the fucking... <laughs> the SU-100 was there the whole time. He had some sick camo. But the Type T-34... 
not the Type T. Fuck's sake. The T thirty four eighty five M got spotted by Beaver with his binos. Beaver takes a shot at him. The shell goes to the right and kills the SU one hundred who wasn't spotted that entire time. Fucking fantastic. Gotta love this game, man. And now Beaver's rolling around to try and pick up his uh, Radley Walters on this T3485M. There's an M44 that's pushed into the base. And Beaver gets the gun down, kills the T3485M. The left A put, the shot, it put a shot into the M44 and the ally M44 took him out. And then the enemy Griller took out the allied M44. So Beaver is going to go for his ninth... Uh, bleh, yeah, for his ninth kill... And he's loaded his HE. Uh, the left A hasn't got any kills, but I'm pretty sure he's done some decent damage. And, uh, well, it looks like the tier 5s are really doing their work here. And Beaver... Oh! We find the HE, and he's left the grill on 1 HP. That's fucking unlucky. That's a low roll for the HE. Oh! He auto-aims, but he was wiggling the tank, so the shell dipped into the ground. Alas, he kills the grill when he's still on 1 HP. Because the grill panicked for whatever reason and uh, decided to rush the shot. And he missed. So Beaver was able to take his time. If he needed it, he didn't take his time. He, he would have been able to take his time, but he fucking didn't. Not that he really needed to, but whatever. That's Besides the point, he fucking kills the grill. Almost 2.9k damage in a tier 5, in a tier 6 game. 9 kills. That's definitely a carry. So yes, well played Beaver. And if for whatever fucking reason you liked this uh, video, please subscribe. Press like if you do like it, because you're a weird cunt. And yeah. Hopefully I'll see you fuckers in the next one. Goodbye.